Our news crews are also working to learn more about the man charged with raping Corinne Gump. After looking through legal records, we uncovered more about Robert Seaman's time in and out of local courtrooms. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti has that story tonight. In addition to the indictment on rape and other charges filed a year ago, we've discovered Robert Seaman pled guilty to drug trafficking and theft in March of 2011 and was sentenced to five years probation. Court records also show Seaman filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy protection in June of that year. He is under house arrest. He has not violated it. He has done nothing wrong. Lawyers claimed in court yesterday Seaman has been under electronic house arrest for months. I'm told today authorities are now checking with the company that monitors suspects in the program to verify that. In the meantime, he apparently hasn't been paying the mortgage on his house in Green Township. This month, Huntington Bank sued over Seaman's loan. Records show he owes about $216,000 and hasn't made any payments since last September. The foreclosure was issued last Thursday. This defendant, as it sits right now, is a danger to the public. Although Seaman remains jailed after having his bond revoked, his girlfriend, Lynn Schmidt, was found late yesterday staying at Seaman's home. We're told investigators spoke with her about the fire that killed her 10-year-old daughter, Corinne Gump, and parents this week. We're just going to have to wait and see how that investigation progresses. For now, prosecutors say they're working to reconstruct their rape case, hoping to convince Judge Maureen Sweeney to allow use of statements Corinne made to a social worker and a nurse. We'll have to propose those hearsay exceptions to the judge. She'll then hear arguments from both sides and she'll make a determination about whether the state can proceed in that fashion or not. And At this point, no date for that has been set. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.